Welcome to a Mailsoft tutorial. Today I am going to demonstrate you the functionality of FTP connector. We can see how we can read the file from a directory and how we can write and delete a file in a directory. We are going to demonstrate you below operations. So we can see on new or updated file this will act as a source and apart from this operation all operation will act as a processor like write, delete, read, copy, move and list. Write file we can write any file and delete as per name we can delete a file. Read is a very important functionality which read we can use at time of the processing and we can call it at demand whenever we need we can call read operation. Same thing like copy operations we can also call in the operations to copy one file to another directory and if we need to move file from one directory to another directory then we can use move operation. List operation we can use to get to know the number of files in a directory and we can get to know the properties of that file as well. So let's go ahead and crack it. First of all I will create a new mail sort project. Just use sample FTP connector. So here this is created a sample mail sort project. Now I am going to use first of all let's add the one module that's FTP connector. Now we are going to use first on new or updated file. Let's create the connector configuration. So if you don't have the FTP server installed then you can install the FileZilla server which can use full for FTP and FTPS. So I install the FileZilla server so I am using that and working directory I will leave as it is. All defaults just provide this local host, port number keep it same and username as a test and password. That's it. This is my directory which I am going to use for input. Let me connect. Yeah. Here you go. Now we can define a directory. This is my input directory. And I'm going to keep everything as a default. But based on your need, you can modify the scheduler strategy and also the frequency time units as well. So let's just keep it as it is. Now I will use your logger. So in the logger I can use something like this is equal to file path Just get attributes dot path, it should work fine. So let's go ahead and just I have added only one file. Only one yeah, so let's go ahead. So this will continuously pull, 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 but I mean just it will because I am not deleting the file. Under the next process, I will delete the file so it will not do the continuous polling. Okay, so let's go ahead and transfer one file at inbound. 
this drag and drop here so mail application has received this message and you can see the file is continuously received 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 because I am not deleting the file let's go ahead and delete the file now once we receive then we can delete the file here here we need to just define the path attributes dot path which will contains the full path including the file name as well which will be beneficial for deleting purposes let me print the payload as well the path and we can print something like just for the safety we can give the something kind of output slash play this will transform into the print format here just save it and it should redeploy so application redeployed now let's go ahead and transfer one more file okay there is nothing and I will just transfer into the one it inbound so now there is no file at inbound directory because after like after receiving I am deleting the file this is a good way for the like the preserving the file as well I and also there will be no file loss so successfully transactions would happen that will make sure so this is a good pattern though now we have successfully read and delete now we are going to write go ahead and we can use a directory to write here we can use this directory but we will give the same file name so it will be sync attributes dot file name yeah perfect so let's wait for the redeployment it is deploying so now let's go ahead in outbound there is no file inbound there is no file so I will just transfer here so in inbound there is no file but if you go into the outbound and refresh we got the one file because we are processing and we are writing as well and this is the content which we are passing into the file welcome to mails of tutorial so same contents are there okay now let's go ahead and we can do we can use the copy operation as well so what we will do we can just We are reading, writing, and we can do the copy after this. And we can do copy into the something like uh, from the outbound to from outbound to copy directly. We will do that. So this will be the source path where outbound here we will give this something. File name. Here we are going to. This will be the source, and here we need to just need to provide the target directory. So we can give the target directory as copy. Let's see we have the copy directory yeah. so we will just give here and what we can do after copy we will do the use the list so we can 
check that like in the copy directory how many files are there and we can print this in a logger can give you list after copy so let this will return as an array list so we can't use plus we have to just give So now what we are doing, we are reading a file, we are writing to your outbound and then after that we are deleting from inbound. Let's just give the meaningful name. So we are writing to outbound we are deleting from the source that's inbound we are copying from outbound to copy directory outbound to copy directory just give a hyphen so you can understand then after that list of copy directory Very good. Copy text boom. Just save it and yeah. So let's wait for the so application deployed now. Now I'll go ahead and transfer one file here. Yeah. So yeah, we can see here, we can get this copy and we can see in this path, we can see the sample file is also there. So yeah, so with this exercise, we have completed these three operations and you can download the file sample repository location from here, mail for sample FTP connector. Thanks for your time guys.